All right, hey guys, it's me again, and today we're gonna to talk about Bone Widow. And honestly, Bone Widow hasn't changed much since the test server. So if you wanna know my original thoughts, I'll leave a card to the original video. There are also timestamps in the description of that video. But for the most part, the only major thing that's changed from that video is the powers actually have names now. And the fourth ability got buffed, kinda, sorta, not really. The stats for the abilities are either incomplete or incorrect. The first ability got nerfed, instead of covering an estimated 200 meter AOE when throwing an enemy, it's now only 17 meters. The trade off is that it does some damage now instead of just zero, but it's completely useless now. The second ability is also completely useless now as melee enemies will often walk through it and break your kneecaps, and it no longer kinda works against enemies that deal AOE damage. If that wasn't bad enough, level 40 enemies can shred it in literal seconds. Third ability is unchanged, but it kinda has a use now that I'll talk about a little bit later. And the fourth ability had most of its annoyances ironed out, with it either being unusable or break the mech entirely, but it's still complete garbage. They apparently buffed the base damage from 300 to 1500, except no, they didn't. The crit chance and crit damage buffs work, however, for some reason, the shield bash when paired with your two cost energy now, which is dumb considering that the shield bash fixed most most of the hitbox problems that Iron Bride still has, even with the extend mod on. Not to mention that it's faster. Mods don't apply to the slam attack, and you get virtually no bonus XP when actually using it. Honestly, at this point, I was ready to give up on the mech, but then when I was lying in bed that night, I remembered something. I never tried slide attacks. Turns out that was the answer, using Iron Bride as a stat stick for your slide attacks. The mods you have on Iron Bride while it's active also apply to the slide attacks. Slide attacks are faster, fix the hitbox problem, and also don't cost any extra energy. And then it all made sense to me. Everything in the kit except for the use of first ability was supposed to make slide attacking easier and safer, though the current iterations of those powers are useless. You'd think that Necromech Pressure Point and Necromech Blitz would work on Iron Bride, but it doesn't, so all you're really left with are mods that make your boost cost less fuel and Iron Bride last longer. Very quickly I changed from swinging the sword around to running everything over like a runaway freight train. And while it was fun for a little bit, it's still lacking damage wise. It doesn't even come close to Void Rig's Archibex, which by the way, they just buffed, because of course they did, giving it a faster projectile speed. Even more reason not to build Bone Widow. Only thing on this mech that is better than Void Rig is the base stats. That's literally it. As Bone Widow is pretty tanky even without a working defense ability, thanks to that massive health pool. Now as far as builds go, it's just survivability, engine mods, and mods that make Iron Bride cheaper. For Iron Bride itself, I went and did a full crit build with 120% mods because its base damage is way too low for a hybrid build to be good on it. After I get three more formal on it for mastery, I am never using this mech again. I might revisit it when it's finished or the inevitable rework comes along, but that's it. This mech is complete mastery fodder and does not come with the grenade launcher like I initially thought it did. You actually need to build that separately. When you actually build the mech, you need an extra arc gun slot open because the mech will come with a second Mazalon. So stay away from this mech for now. I just don't see it being good with its current moveset. Anyway, the guys, I'm so happy to be done with this mech so I can finally move on to other videos. Uh, that's all for me. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.